you notice some noise of the brake rotor rubbing against the brake pads. If it's intermittent, probably due to a bent rotor, see our video in the upper right and how to fix that. But if it's constant, we call brake drag. Most common causes are stuck piston or too much fluid in the line of the hydraulic brake. However, before you start pulling the brake pads and working with the hydraulic brakes, there are a couple of things you might do that might take care of this problem. Just in case there are any questions, this is a cable accentuated hydraulic brake with fluid in the caliper brake itself and is treated as with other hydraulic brakes. Release the quick release. Make sure the wheel is centered and the quick release is nice and tight. If you have a through axle, also make sure that it's tight and this may solve your problem. If not, let's go on to the next step. Grab yourself a microfiber cloth and some alcohol. Go ahead and remove your wheel, front or back, wherever you have the noise. Wipe down the rotor with a little alcohol on the rag. Don't need much. And same the inside. Also, with a little rubbing alcohol on the edge of my cloth, I can floss in between the brake pads back and forth, give them a good cleaning. Then we can reinstall the wheel and see if this has solved our problem. If not, we'll move on to the next step. See if the calipers are centered over the rotor. We're looking from the front with a white drop cloth in the back. We'll see if we can zoom in a little closer here. And if we carefully turn the wheel back and forth, we can see that there's a space on either side of the rotor. Looking from the rear of the disc brakes with a drop cloth, we can get a close-up. If you look closely, you can see that there's a space on either side of the rotor. The caliper is centered. We can skip this particular step. However, if on some brakes we notice that the one of the pads and touching the rotor and the other side is clear, we'll go on and center the brake as follows. First thing we'll do is put on some gloves so we don't get any oils from our skin on the rotor itself. And we'll loosen both the top and the bottom caliper bolts to allow some movement of the caliper itself back and forth against the rotor. Now many mechanics will suggest, and most videos will suggest, just holding your hydraulic brake closed and then tightening the caliper bolts while you're holding the brake. A little bit awkward, works about 50-75% of the time, but here's what I do, make it a lot easier. I'd like to use a spacer to separate the pads calipers from the rotor evenly on both sides. They do sell spacers that go about the rotor, but they work all right for a mountain bike. For a road bike, these just don't fit. Some people use business cards. You got to find the right business card that's not plastic coated that'll fit in there and not be too thin that it won't be able to be inserted between the pad and the rotors. What I like to use are shipping tags. They're just the right size. If you get big ones, you can cut them down a little bit. Cut them right in the middle, about halfway down. As such. Now we're ready to put this in to space the pads apart from the rotor. Bend the tag in half.
place it on either side of the rotor. Holding it in place, move the rotor up and in. So you can see the tag on either side of the rotor between the rotor and the pads. Now instead of holding the brake closed and tightening the caliper bolts to make it a little easier, I have a piece of Velcro but you can use anything. You have to have a round old toe strap or something you can use to hold that brake closed. Now we can tighten our caliper bolts. We'll torque them at the end. We'll release up on top our Velcro strap, rotate the wheel to remove the shipping tag. Spin the wheel. Ah, problem solved. If these tips don't solve your problem, then it may be time to pull the brake pads, clean the pistons, adjust the fluid in the hydraulic brakes. We have some links here at the end. If you have any other suggestions, questions, please put them in the comments below. Subscribe, keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.